About 200 people came to the Sanctuary Church in Juliet, just north of Plant Shearer, for the forum on coal ash storage in their community. Many in this community have loved ones who've experienced rare cancers or other ailments they've long suspected had something to do with living so close to the coal ash pond at Plant Shearer. The Altamaha Riverkeeper hosted the forum. Fletcher Sams of the Riverkeeper has been testing area wells and brought residents up to speed. The bottom of that ash pond at Plant Shearer is submerged in the aquifer, tens of feet. The same aquifer that y'all draw your drinking water from is in contact with coal ash. You don't have to take my word for it. Coal ash is in the groundwater in Juliet, as well as in ash ponds near the towns of Smyrna, Rome, Noonan, and Carrollton. What you can do about it and what we're going to be talking about today, we have a bill in the House and the Senate. House Bill 756. Bill the bills are aimed at mandating that all coal ash be kept in lined landfills, just like household trash. Even in Ponds, Georgia Power says they went to seal on what they call their advanced closure method. Residents wanted more clarity on what that meant. Advanced closure method, but there you cannot find it anywhere on the internet of what is the definition. It means putting a lid on top of an ash pond but leaving the bottom permeable to water. There were other questions. You know, I mean, I mean, you not only drink, you bathe, you wash your food, you cook. I mean, what do we do in the meantime? Will a Brita filter get it out? And for Rodney Bostic, there was frustration. I'm sitting here watching my friends suffer. I, I, I elected officials need to tell me what they're going to do to help us. We don't need five-year plans. We need immediate plans. I think they're here. Fletcher Sams of the Altamaha River Riverkeeper told the people of Juliet that if they feel the same, they should call their state representatives about the coal ash bills.